We're simply being used as pawns on a board of chess. Lauren Perkins says they just want to be seen as a human being. What really matters right now is are we doing everything that we can to support our vulnerable populations? From banning gender-affirming care for minors, attempts to ban certain drag shows in front of children, and scrapping diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives at public universities, many in the Austin LGBTQ plus community feel they're under attack. We need to lead the charge and speak for maybe for those who still feel like they live in fear and they can't be their true authentic self because of things that continue to get passed. With that in mind, Monday night, the LGBTQ Quality of Life Advisory Commission unanimously passed a resolution with one abstention to expand protections for transgender, non-binary, and other gender fluid individuals. I think the first thing is for them to understand that they're being heard, but we're also trying to take concrete steps to ensure that their time and their living in Austin is as safe as it can be. If passed by city council, the resolution would keep the city from using any funds or resources to investigate, prosecute, or litigate any transgender individual seeking health care or anyone helping said individual receive care. The city manager would also be tasked with establishing a program to support those facing criminal or civil prosecution for seeking health care. For Lauren, that's a big step. Austin is at the forefront of the trans rights movement in Texas as it stands but only the first step. I don't want to see the council members sort of sit on their laurels and say we've done everything that they can. I want them to realize that there is more work that needs to be done. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.